Hey, everyone here on the Salesforce channel, keen to learn about how to automate tasks for small businesses. My name is Anya Kubo, and I'm a software developer and course creator on my own YouTube channel, Code with Anya, as well as your guide into the wonderful world of automation. I have teamed up with Salesforce so that I can shed some light on various topics through answering your questions, such as what processes should you automate, what are the best AI tools you can use, and how you can save time and scale smarter. Now, you might be thinking, what does she even know about this topic? Well, having built many automation pipelines as a developer and even created tutorials about them, I hope I can impart my knowledge about the do's and don'ts, as well as recommend some tools that I've come across that really blew my mind, not just Salesforce, as we don't want to be biased here, but all of them. I am also a business owner, having started my own coffee shop business with two branches so far, as well as exited from an e-commerce business started many moons ago. By having this experience under my belt, I hope I can help you by answering some of these questions, having been through copious trial and error processes myself. So let's do it. I posted a poll on my YouTube channel, which so many of you answered, and the winner was, what processes should you automate? So let's delve into it. To make this relevant to your business, I would start by identifying repetitive, time-consuming tasks. This could be email marketing. As some of you may know, you can automate the sending of newsletters or follow-up emails. Customer onboarding, where you can use platforms such as Salesforce or Zapier to trigger welcome emails and set up customer journeys. Invoicing and payments. If you need something robust, you can use softwares like Xero, the accounting software to handle invoicing and reminders automatically. Or if you need something more cost-effective and simplified, use a Revolut business banking account for this by signing up to their merchant offering. It's quite handy as you can create payment links that you can send to get the money straight away into your business banking account. And finally, social media scheduling comes to mind as you can batch create content and schedule posts using tools like Buffer or Hootsuite. Now, with the right configuration, automation doesn't replace your personal touch. It just gives you more time to focus on growing your business. So, we've already covered some tools to help you with automation, but honestly, I've tried way more than this, so I can give you the lowdown of which are used for what answering the next popular question of best AI tools for streamlining work. A simple one you might consider if you're writing a lot of text is Grammarly. It's perfect for automating proofreading and improving your writing, and I recommend having it if you don't have an AI tool already installed by your software. Next, we have Zapier, which will connect your favorite apps, including AI ones, and create workflows without coding. So this is just a lot of things being triggered by events, such as new customer signups. If you are a developer, you can take creating workflows to the next level of personalization by using tools such as Make to create your own automation to streamline your business tasks. From mastering lead management with tools like Facebook Leads and Salesforce, to enhancing e-commerce through chat GPT-driven product descriptions, to QR ticket generation and AI-enhanced email automation, the possibilities are endless. Of course, we also have Salesforce, which is a powerful tool for automating sales funnels and customer success. Now, with the added benefit of AI features that do things such as personalize the shopper journey with AI-infused e-commerce software. So, for example, thanks to Salesforce's CRM data and AI, you can add AI agents onto your website that will answer questions based on your customers' previous purchases. This type of sales-driven approach can be implemented for B2C and B2B businesses alike. I'm going to cover more AI tools as we look into the next few questions also when they are relevant. Now, we have covered a lot of apps and tools to help us with the mundane, but what about our business growth? Let's look at how to save time and scale smarter. Here are three things I would do. Number one, I would leverage templates by using pre-designed templates for emails, social media, and workflows to reduce setup time. One tool I would suggest is Canva, as it's great for templates. This includes templates for presentations, infographics, which are very underused, or social media posts. You can also use it for static images and video reels alike, and it also has some great AI features, including generation, generative fill, AI removals, and AI additions. Number two would be batch work. 
Dedicate specific time blocks for repetitive tasks like content creation or bookkeeping. I like to do this weekly on Mondays as it sets me up for the week and keeps content relevant. So basically I would do it every week and not every month or something like that. Track your KPIs in number three. By this I mean use dashboards from tools like Salesforce to monitor performance and adjust quickly. It's easy to lose track of tasks, so this is a great way to stay on track. Next, how do you introduce automation without overwhelming a small team? Well, I would start small and prioritize. I would pick one task to automate and then implement it. That's it. And ensure your team is comfortable. So for example, you could start with automating email follow-ups or appointment scheduling. Once your team sees the benefits automation can bring for them personally, they should hopefully get them excited to learn more. If your team is still struggling, it could be a good idea to create simple step-by-step -step guides, written or videoed. That way they can always refer back to them and will save you time from having to explain each thing over and over again, especially when new joiners come. A great AI tool for this is Scribe AI, which creates documentation in seconds. Simply do a screen recording of what you are doing and Scribe will create documentation for it. For solo entrepreneurs on a budget, I also have some more affordable AI tools you can get for free or free-ish. Their capabilities may be limiting, but for solo businesses, they could be just right. Number one is Trello, which is a great free tool for managing tasks and projects. It's pretty basic and just has this drag and drop feature for when you complete a task, but you can also assign other users to cards and color coordinate them based on whatever categories you want. Number two is Google Workspace, which automates file sharing, is great at emails of course, and has great calendar management. Number three would be a site or app called IFTT, which I think stands for something like if this then that which is a free version of Zapier that allows you to create basic workflows for free and scale as needed. And four is Wave, which is a free invoicing and accounting software for small businesses. This is not one I've used myself, but I have heard about it and it's free tier and I am just gonna share it with you here today. Finally, how do you automate human tasks like refund payments without relying on chatbots? Well, tools like Stripe or PayPal allow you to set up automation for refunds and set up workflows. You can also use tools like Zapier to create triggers, like we mentioned before. So for example, when a refund request form is submitted, so that's the trigger, the process can start automatically. Many payment gateways such as Stripe provide APIs that let you initiate and manage refunds programmatically. All you need to do is connect your order management system to the Payment Gateways API and define the trigger, so a trigger like a refund request approval or threshold conditions. So for example, this could be overpayment detection. Another thing is to use scripts to automate refund initiation. It might sound complicated, but usually you will find all the information you need in order to set this up in the software's documentation. And that's it for today. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to post them in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you.